COVID-19 has changed how the whole world functions. People are working remotely, some people are digital nomads, and some are working from home. In some sort or rather, it's kind of like the norm right now. But earlier this year, the phenomenon of the great resignation happened, and many people were planning to quit their jobs for many good reasons. Some found better things to do in life like having a better work-life balance and having a better pay. But with the recession looming over the economy that was barely recovering, and it's reported that 51% of Singaporeans are set to quit their jobs for better pay, career opportunities and flexibility. And that goes without saying, right now in August 2020, it's an employee's market. An employee's market means that employees instead of the employers have the target influence on the terms of employment. So for example, some people will ask for flexible work arrangements where they can shuttle between working from home and working from the office. But across the board, Gen Zs and Millennials are the ones who are really changing jobs this year and this is why I think it will be really dangerous. And right now, there's a new trend popping up on TikTok which is quiet quitting. So some people call it the Great Resignation version 2 because many might be able to successfully change employment and hence use quiet quitting as a form of protest against the employer for a myriad of reasons. If you didn't know, quiet quitting is a phenomenon where employees are just doing the bare minimum at their job and not going above and beyond without additional compensation. So this can mean clocking in and out of work on the dot not replying emails after work and refusing to communicate with work colleagues or bosses after working hours and so on. Basically, you can say that it's a form of malicious compliance and I feel that this trend can be somewhat pretty toxic if it continues. So personally, I do understand why people want to quiet quit and it stems from two main issues. The first one is being underappreciated and the second one is more of self-preservation. So being underappreciated is something that many people struggle with in their work careers. Being underappreciated leads to fewer opportunities for promotions because some employers will dangle a chance of promotion as a carrot to get KPIs pushed to its limits. And of course, we got some colleagues that will steal credit for work done by you. But there's no perfect solution to this, but I guess that we all have to learn to sell ourselves to open up ourselves to more opportunities and more doors. The second reason for quiet quitting is self-preservation. So this is much more common in the creative space because there are deadlines to be met and clients to appease. And it's reported that 62% of Singaporeans struggle with burnout. And quiet quitting sort of became the remedy for it because people work hard, they don't get appreciated, they work more, they don't get recognition and hence they just quiet quit. With quiet quitting, people are going against the hustle culture which is something I cannot understand and here is why. When we talk about the hustle culture, this can be hustling for yourself on the side as a side hustle or even hustling more for your day job. And hustling in either one of those makes a lot of sense to me personally. If you're doing side hustles like me, the pros you get is you earn extra money, you improve your additional skill set, and you network with different people which can greatly benefit your day job. But the cons that come with it is that you get less rest time or you might just get burned out. But I think that's a personal thing where we have to learn to manage ourselves. So if you're hustling more in your day job, I think it brings a lot more benefits because it gives you opportunities to learn more things laterally, which can lead to something that you're much more better at. For example, if you're in a sales team, instead of just spending time calling clients and following up, you can cross-learn some marketing skills that can bring you even more inbound leads. So instead of depending on your marketing team to provide you leads, you can create your own marketing funnel to get more leads, which gives you more opportunities to close more deals. So this might be an unpopular opinion, but if you're thinking of quiet quitting, this might be something to reconsider in the current landscape because things are changing every single day and we got no idea what is coming in the next couple of months. So now we might be an employee's market because the economy has just rebooted and there is shortage of workers and people are overworked. But think back to the times of COVID when people were let go or retrenched and with the current inflation and the looming recession, if we do enter a recession, which I think is highly possible because the cost of debt is really, really high right now. And with higher cost of debt, the cost of running a business also increases, which lead to an increase in prices. And when businesses cannot make a profit, they start winding down or they start folding, which means people will lose their jobs. So think of it this way, if you're quiet quitting your job right now, when a recession hits, your employer will have to let go of people and there will be a group of people that they will have to select from. And compared to someone who maybe didn't quiet quit, you know, went above and beyond, the answer can be pretty obvious here and ideally in bad times, you might want to have a stable job with income that can help you tight through the tough times that might come ahead. 
But at the end of the day, by hustling a little bit more, going above and beyond, can bring you some good benefits like visibility in the office, getting known for the good work that you do. But at the same time, as you hustle regardless of your day job or your side hustles, always remember to take time off to just rest and unwind. So I do hope that you guys do not jump on the bandwagon and just follow trends that are happening on social media platforms. If you haven't done that, do drop a like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and as always, stay safe, invest safe, and I'll see you in the next one.